This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Audible.com. Hello, Internet. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo, the show where you can ask me, Ashley Escada, any question you might have in the wide world of technology. Every Tuesday, we put up a call for questions on technobuffalo.com. You can leave your question in the post comments. Otherwise, you can send them to me any time of the day or night at technobuffalo or at Ashley Escada on Twitter. Make sure you use the hashtag AskTheB so I can see it, and I'll usually answer between three and five questions every episode. Let's get answering because this is Ask the Buffalo. Techno Buffalo poster Paul asks, Hi Ashley, should I upgrade my HTC One X to HTC One or Butterfly S, or should I wait one more year? A lot of people ask these questions about upgrading their phones, but at the end of the day, if you keep waiting for that next upgrade, that next upgrade, you're gonna end up with like a five-year-old phone and you'll have never upgraded it, which is a super big bummer. So I say live in the moment, Upgrade now. If you have access to the Butterfly S, it's a great device. I just reviewed it. But if you don't, the HTC One is just as delightful. It really boils down to two things. Number one, if you like aluminum and that beautiful machined unibody that the HTC One has, go with that. If you really like plastic, but you also like having expandable storage and a huge battery, go for the Butterfly S. Icaros asks, hi there, Ashley. Do you think that the HTC One Max will have a removable back for more storage and the option to switch batteries like the leaked images suggest? Or do you think that it will maintain the full metal unibody design that the One and the One Mini has? I don't know that HTC would go out of its way to make something that was different than the design language of the One and the One Mini. However, the Butterfly S has a plastic back, but it's still not removable. You can't remove that battery on the HTC Butterfly S. So I don't know. I think that they're going to stick with what they've been doing thus far, which is no removable battery. Uh, but I do think they'll have expandable storage on something as large as the HTC One Max. Santi de Porvita says, considering the iPhone already has mid-range specs, will the iPhone 5C be a low-end phone or even a toy? Well, I don't think it'll be a toy. I don't think it'll be considered that. However, I do think that if it does come to the US, which I would imagine it would, this will be the phone that replaces the iPhone 4S. So on the spectrum, you have the iPhone 4S for free once the 5S comes out. Then you have the 5 for $99 on contract and then the newest iPhone 5S for $199 on contract. To me, it would make sense for Apple to replace the 4S with the iPhone 5C because the production costs for the iPhone 5C are going to be way less than the iPhone 4S or equivalent. And it would also make it extremely attractive for parents to add that extra line on an account to give a phone, an iPhone to their kids without having to say, God, I'm spending $200 on this phone and I think you're probably going to break it or you know leave it at school. But if it's really inexpensive and even off contract, I think it's one of those things that's really going to catch on like wildfire here in the States. Josh asks, hey, Ashley, are you excited for the Jobs movie coming out soon? In a word, no. Next question. Andrew asks, do you think there needs to be more mobile OSs? It seems that only having the few basic OSs, iOS, Android, Windows, and BlackBerry make the mobile market stale after a few years. Besides Linux OS, do you predict there will be more OSs in the near future to shake things up a bit? add competition and to give consumers more options? Thanks. Well, there are other OSs. I mean, we have Tizen, we have Firefox OS. There are other OSs out there, but really what it boils down to is developer willingness to develop for a platform that isn't established. And the other part of it is, is all of the OSs that exist right now are from huge companies. BlackBerry aside, because I think they're in a little bit of trouble it's been very tumultuous for them and they're going through a lot of change. Microsoft, Google, and Apple are huge companies that back these OSs. So I think that there's a lot of trust involved and a lot of time and energy that goes into developing these things. And especially after the history of WebOS, even getting bought by a company like HP and then crashing and burning in flames after their CEO at the time, Leo Apotheker, I will never forget that name, ruined HP's chances at making WebOS a viable operating system. I think that there's definitely sort of a hesitance to sort of latch on to anything new. So it'll be a while, uh, but I definitely think there's always something that comes up. I mean, years and years ago, we thought MySpace would just be at the top of social media for a long time, and we all know how that ended. I live about 60 miles from Techno Buffalo headquarters. It's a huge commute every day. And you know what keeps me sane? Audible.com. They're the biggest audiobook site on the web with over 100,000 titles to choose from. That's a big deal for someone like me who listens to a bunch of books in my car every single week. And it keeps me on my toes because I'm always looking for new things to read. 
fiction, nonfiction, spoken word, it's all on Audible. Even better, they just released their iPad app, so you can use Audible services finally in a beautiful and specifically designed for iPad interface. No more scaling up. I think I'm gonna recommend you Aisha Tyler's recently released Self-Inflicted Wounds, which had me laughing so hard I almost drove off the road. You can get a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook from us if you go to audible.com slash techno. Get your free audiobook and 30-day free trial today. Well, that's it for this week's Ask the Buffalo. Thank you so much for watching. Please give uh, the show a thumbs up because I really appreciate it. And check us out at technobuffalo.com for all the latest and greatest tech news. Till next week, I'm Ashley Escada. See you next time. Hey guys, Ashley here. Just wanted to let you know that if you liked what you just saw, we've got two other shows that go live every single week. Redinger's Rants, where John totally goes nuts about issues that bug him across consumer technology, and Rumor Roundup, where he tells you all about the best rumors in the world of tech. So click the text below that says subscribe, and if you want to check out either of those shows, click right over here. See you next time. Thanks for watching.